there is various levels of live spore count in there. Um, Aspergillus is the one that's most concerning to the expert that we had that, that did it. Uh, he's also of the opinion that there is based on there's evidence of moisture behind the walls in his office and also because the window renovation made the building airtight, or at least that's what we believe. And there's also very little uh, air circulation in his offices and I'd like Foster to talk more about that, but what the report does indicate is that there are there is presence of aspergillus, which is probably the second most toxic mold out there, um, and levels that shouldn't be. And in addition to which, uh, we be he believes that more likely than not that there is other toxic mold growing girl behind the walls in his office. Uh, my executive assistant, who's 23 and in her third trimester, uh, at one point was coughing up blood and having bloody noses, which is not good for a young lady who is uh, pregnant. But um, I care deeply about my employees and the people that work for me, and that's why this action was taken. I, I thought long and hard about this before I decided to take this action, but um, I've been told over and over by the PBA and the powers that be that it's just a smell. Well, it's not just a smell. My medical bills are astronomical, and they're trying to figure out exactly what it is that's going on and they think uh, that they have pinpointed it to uh, the uh, aspergillus, uh, aspergillus mold uh, that's in the office and other toxins that are in that office. That's a 133-year-old building. Uh, but I was literally sitting at a desk somewhat like this. The window was here as they were taking those windows out. So yes, I do have other people in my office <coughs> Excuse me, that uh, have experienced the same problems and other problems.